for me. guys I hope you can see me I've been here in California for a few months now and I haven't really gone exploring until now as you can see I'm at the shoreline here at Long Beach we're gonna go for a quick little walk at the park I have Gizmo here with me you know we'll see him in a bit and we're just gonna go ahead and explore and see what we find y'all ready to come let's go If you ever come and visit, you can always come and go to the aquarium. I'm not going today because I have gizmo with me and dogs are not allowed, but that seems like an awesome little spot to head to if you're out here. Well, check it out. I found me some love locks. A couple of fixes a love lock to declare their love unbreakable. This is actually like my third or fourth love lock bridge that I've seen so far. But I have never placed a love lock myself. One day I will, when I find my little wifey. Luckily, I came here early enough to where there's not really many people here. Like literally, almost vacant. Uh, shops are barely opening up and it is during the week so if you ever want to come where there's not much traffic come during the week because the weekend I'm pretty sure gets really packed here I am at the shoreline village and plenty of restaurants so we're gonna go ahead and have lunch somewhere I'm just gonna look around see what I can find and I'm gonna show you where we ate Alright guys, ignore the hair because the wind is crazy out here. I'm obviously by the water, the Pacific Ocean to be exact. Um, so I went for the jambalaya here at Louisiana Charlie's. My jambalaya has sausage, chicken, a um, whole bunch of sauces, very spicy which I like and it tastes really good. Every time I go to the restaurant, my baby's so good. Yes he is. Yes he is. Ooh, I am super stuffed. I feel bloated. I'm not lying. Look at my belly, guys. Look at my belly. Look at it. Hold on. Look at that. Popping out. I look three months pregnant. Maybe four. That's crazy. They be smelling like weed up in this bitch. They be smoking in Cali. I don't smoke, obviously. I don't like the smell. Oof. Okay, let's go up. Uh, second, I'm guessing. We're gonna head up to the top on the roof of whatever the hell this structure is. Don't know what kind of building this is, but there is a nice view. So we're gonna take a look from up there and just see what we got going on. Maybe take some pictures, we'll see.
try to teach him tricks on the boardwalk. Ain't gonna fly. Too distracted. This is the type of shit that bothers me when people litter, okay? Gum. Gum, there's a trash can. There's a motherfucking trash can you can put your gum into. Now my baby's got gum stuck in his damn paw. My poor baby, I'm so sorry. Hold on. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. What the hell? Queen Mary, a historical site. See, I was across the water earlier. I drove around to get closer to the Queen Mary and let me tell you, this motherfucker is huge. I'm right here at the tip and it is, it goes all the way down there. This place is known to be haunted. I ain't lying to you. Oh my goodness, I can just imagine how the Titanic would have looked like. Everywhere I go, I just can't go to any beach. Yes, I'm a solo traveler, but I do have my little buddy Gizmo. So if I'm gonna head to the beach, we gotta hit the dog beach. Come on, look at Put your paws in there, baby. Look, look, look. He won't put his paws in the water. I wanted to try it once. Look, 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 look. I never let Gizmo off the leash anywhere in public, but um, you could unleash your dog here. So hopefully you listen to me. Gizmo, come here. Come here. Gizmo, come here. Good boy. Good job. <laughs> Good boy, baby. Good job. Good boy. Okay, you gotta keep listening to me, okay? This is just the, this is just the beginning, okay? Cynophobia, fear of dogs. I have had this phobia for 20 years due to a traumatic experience. I have overcome it the past 10 years with small dogs. Still working on the big dogs, bear with me, baby steps. It is 3 p.m. I just checked into the Hilton here in Long Beach. This is actually, I believe, my first time at the Hilton and it's in downtown, so it's very extravagant, very classy, very elegant. But I came in and I'm on the fourth floor, literally from the parking lot to here. I probably passed about seven employees. <laughs> I've never been at a hotel where there's that many security um whatever else they all are because they all have badges but they're all dressed differently so it's very elegant let me tell you coming into the room it smells amazing the scent smells rich i looked it up one night here costs 250 dollars i actually got it half price through oh let me remember um i forgot what website but i only paid a hundred for this night by the way i checked into a hotel just for tonight because i'm spending two days here in long beach and it is two hours away from escondido 
and Escondido is where I live. It's Escondido is actually a San Diego suburb. So it's two hours here, so I might as well stay the night because I have a long day tomorrow and you guys will be there with me. And then we're gonna head out back home later that night. I wish you were able to smell the scent in here, but it's oh, got a nice little mirror right here. Um, got coffee, of course. I'm going to drink a cup in the morning before I head out somewhere else. Got a fridge that I will not be using. I'm only here to sleep. Television. <laughs> nice desk. And I'm, I haven't sat on here yet. And it's not comfortable, which is perfect because you're not supposed to be that comfortable when you're sitting at your desk working. It's supposed to keep you up, so nice, nice. Got a nice mirror right there. Even the lighting, y'all, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. The view, there's nothing to see, I ain't gonna lie. Look at that, just the rooftop, that's all. <laughs> uh, guys, got a nice little chair. Oh, now this is comfortable. <laughs> oh. This is comfortable. I got a king size bed. I haven't slept on a king in a very, very long time. And I have a feeling, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a good night's sleep tonight for sure. What else we got here? Got a closet, nothing too fancy. And the bathroom. Ooh. I haven't been in here yet. Look at that. Even the lighting to the mirror. It's like they know, you know what I'm saying? They know we, we got to look a little good in the morning, you know what I'm saying? We gotta make sure we are intact, not like this. A sink, toilet of course, a shower, and a nice tub. All right. By the way, we are not done for the day. We just came to check in. Uh, we're gonna relax, get some rest, I'm gonna charge up all the batteries to my cameras and we're gonna head out later to go grab something to eat and then over to see the sunset because I heard of a place where it's perfect to view the sunset here and I hope I get, I hope it's not too crowded. It is during the week, but we'll see. But you guys, let me get my shit together, all right? If you're curious to know, what I brought with me is a little bag. It's got Gizmo's bowl, I carry all my camera equipment in here, which is the camera that I'm using right now, my GoPro, my Polaroid camera, and I also keep my batteries, extra film, Gizmo's food, <laughs> and a bottle of water for my dog. This is usually what I take with me everywhere, everywhere we go. But since I'm staying the night here at the hotel, I brought a backpack with me. It just has one outfit in here, shoes, toothbrush, you know, deodorant, my typical stuff that I need. And that's it, that's all I use. We are now overlooking Long Beach. As you can see, look at all these houses. If you look further back, that's the Pacific Ocean that way. You can see the boats. This camera's not gonna show any justice, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice view. I ate at Rose Seafood Restaurant. Uh, I chose the salmon with rice. It was a small portion, but it did the trick. It did fill me up. Come on, come on, come on. But it was not worth the price. It cost me $35. I don't understand why, but I paid that much. Um, I don't do that often, but hey, it is what it is. I, I'm on vacation, so why the fuck not? But we're here, we're gonna um, enjoy this view from the hilltop. I'm gonna stay here until the sun sets. It's supposed to set at 7.38. I believe it's 6.30 now, so we're just gonna hang out. Come on this way. What's over here? Come on, come on. I don't know what's that way, but I'm seeing people coming and going through here. But where I'm heading to, where I'm gonna end up is over there, but since we have time, let's explore. I know for damn sure that these houses back here, they're expensive as fuck. I don't know why, I understand why people wanna pay this much money 
because of the view and how beautiful it looks from up here but people come and go all the fucking time strangers from all over the world making lots of noise i just can't i'm such an introvert i need to be in a peaceful neighborhood like quiet <laughs> but hey everyone's got their own preferences so why hate on it i just found out that this is called the hilltop loop trail it goes all the way around but i am not gonna do all that because we're gonna do a lot of walking tomorrow so i'm gonna save my energy for that so we're gonna go back up uh to the hilltop and see what's going on up there i'm pretty sure it's gonna be filled with more people because people come specifically to see the sunset so let's go check it out The hilltops up there. Just going around it for a bit. Get a good little exercise from it. The thing about California is that there's a lot of artists, all types, videographers, photographers, music artists. Mm -hmm. 